What is going on everybody? It's your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm bringing you another division video. Today's video is going to be focused on one of the highest output damage PvP builds in the game right now. This build is great for PvP and PvE and that's the Predator's Mark build. Before we get into the build portion of this video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support you've been showing me. If you guys enjoyed this video after watching it, hit the thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're watching a video, hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you have any questions, use the comment section down below. So now let's get into the build. So the first thing you're gonna notice on my build is my primary firepower is 402,000, my toughness is 589,000, and my skill power is 99,000. That's a firearms of 4,097, a stamina of 9,020, and an electronics of 2,900. Now the key thing with this build is you need to make sure you have around 9,000 stamina, and we'll talk about that in just a sec. So what is the benefit of running a six piece Predator's Mark versus a four piece? Well, the difference is, Set bonus 2 gives you reload speed of 10%, set bonus 3 gives you assault rifle damage and SMG damage of 8%, set bonus 4 predator's mark, hit 10 shots without switching targets to make the target bleed for 50% of damage already done by those bullets, set bonus 5 gives you an additional 10% reload speed and an additional 8% assault rifle damage and SMG damage. So that's a total of 16% assault rifle damage and SMG damage if you're running 5 piece predator's mark and then an additional 20% reload speed. Set bonus six, which makes this build put out so much damage. Improved Predator's Mark. Hitting 10 shots without switching target now applies the Predator's Mark. Hitting 10 shots without switching targets now applies the Predator's Mark, which makes the target bleed for 50% of the damage already done by those bullets. The Predator's Mark ignores the target's bleed resistance. The damage over time to target is increased by 15% for every 3,000 stamina and can critically hit the target. When at 9,000 stamina, the damage over time bonus is increased by an additional 120%. So that's why you see running 9,000 stamina on this build is going to help you put out as much damage as possible with the bleed and then you're just going to melt players. So now that you see what Predator's Mark 6 piece does, now let's get into the roles of each of my gear pieces. For the chest, it's road stamina, it has exotic damage resilience, health, and ammo capacity. I really recommend you running exotic damage resilience because if you come across another predator, exotic damage resilience is the only thing that's going to help you reduce that bleed. If you haven't seen my previous video, I talk about what you need to roll on your gear set to reduce the amount of damage that you receive from the bleed. Now just running around 24% exotic damage resilience is going to help you drop that bleed around 20,000. For the mods, I'm running stamina with skill power. For the mask, it's road stamina. It has a major attribute of exotic damage resilience and a minor attribute of damage to elites. Now on your mask, you can roll critical hit chance, but I'm rolling exotic damage resilience. Like I told you before, having as much exotic damage resilience stacked on your gear will help you fight that bleed. Now I'm only gonna roll two pieces with exotic damage resilience, but there is a third piece you can roll, and those are the knee pads. The mods I'm running are stamina mods with skill power. For the knee pads, they're rolled stamina, they have major attribute of critical hit damage, minor of shock resistance, burn resistance, and damage to elites. This is the piece you can also roll 8% exotic damage resilience. I just believe that the 9% critical hit damage is better than the 8% exotic damage resilience you can get. For the mods, I'm running stamina mods with skill power and performance mods with first aid self heal. For the backpack, it's rolled stamina, it has critical hit damage and bleed resistance. For the mods, I'm running stamina mods with skill power and performance mod with first aid self heal. For the gloves, the rolled firearms, major attribute is SMG damage, critical hit damage, and critical hit chance. For the holster, major attribute is critical hit chance, and you're going to see that I'm stacking as much critical hit chance as I can on this build with as much critical hit damage. So if we get into the gun, I'm using the house, base damage is 19.7k, my critical hit chance is 23%. The talents I'm running are deadly, critical hit damage is increased by 15%, competent weapon damage is increased by 10% for 15 seconds after using the skill. Now when I'm running this gun with Predator's Mark, competent will never be unlocked because I'm not going to run that much electronics. If I could have the god roll on this build, I would have predatory or even sustained. And then the best talent in the game right now, the card counter, one half of the magazine does 20% increased damage. The half which deals increased damage flips after 15 seconds or when the magazine is empty. The mods I'm running is a pro red dot side with critical hit damage, headshot damage, and critical hit chance. Allow vent break with 18% critical hit damage, 6% headshot damage, and 3% critical hit chance. A under barrel with 19% critical hit damage, reload speed, and optimal range and then an extended magazine with critical hit chance and rate of fire. For my secondary, I'm running a lightweight M4. This has 21% enemy armor damage, 16.2k damage. It has predatory killing a target, regenerates 35% health over 20 seconds. It has deadly critical hit damage is increased by 15%. 
And then in the bottom slot, it has responsive damage is increased by 10% when closer than 10 meters to the target. If you're gonna run an assault rifle on this build, these are the three talents you really want because responsive is always gonna be unlocked in the bottom slot. Then you have deadly, and then you have predatory, which is really great for this build because you have 9,000 stamina, and then when you kill a target, it regenerates 35% of your health over 20 seconds. For the mods, I'm running critical hit chance, critical hit damage, headshot damage on the optics. For the suppressor, I'm running critical hit damage, critical hit chance, headshot damage. For the underbarrel, I'm running critical hit damage, reload speed, stability. And for the extended magazine, I'm running magazine size, critical hit chance, rate of fire. Now, if we get into the character, you're going to see my critical hit chance is around 41.5% with the SMG. My critical hit damage is 130% and my headshot damage is 62%. My max health is 397,000 and that's why I'm running predatory with this build. Once you get a kill, you get 35% of that over 20 seconds. My armor mitigation is a 32.5%. For the skills, I'm running overdose. It heals me for 97,000 and it comes back every 54 seconds. Now, some of you might wanna run booster shot. That's only gonna heal me for 58,000, which is only 40,000 health points. And I just feel that having overdose, you have that much more survivability. And then I also stack that with an immune box just for the fact that when I do get a bleed on me, I can drop the immune box, explode it, and then I'll get that heal. I like spacing out my overdose in my immune box just to use as two heals since one does come back at 54 seconds and the other one comes back at 35 seconds. For the talents, I run adrenaline. Make hits now give you seven seconds of immunity from status effects. Now, for some reason, this doesn't always work towards Predator. I know sometimes I feel that it does. Then other times people are still able to get a stack on me within two seconds of me popping a med kit. I like running critical save using med kit during low health to increase damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. Shrapnel, applying bleed to any target triggers a 30% chance for each target within a 10 meter radius and then strike back. Reach low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. Now, if I'm in a group, sometimes I'll take off shrapnel and I'll put on combat medic. Use a med kit near allies to heal group members and proxies within 20 meters by 40%. So this is how I would really recommend you guys running this build if you wanna put out as much damage as possible and still have some kind of survivability. Remember guys, if you guys still have any questions on this build, use the comment section down below. I just want to say one more time, thank you guys for all the support you've been showing me. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're watching the video, hit that subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. And as always, guys, if you don't see me in the dark zone, if you don't see me in last stand, if you don't see me in the skirmish, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills is out.